you first. Yes. This is. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Christ is risen today. Indeed, he is. Because he is, darkness has been conquered by light, death by life, and hatred by love. Sisters and brothers in Christ, in the most holy night, our Savior Jesus Christ passed from death to life. And because of that, today, we gather with churches throughout the world to celebrate the Passover of Jesus Christ. We share Christ's triumph over sin and death, and with invincible hope, we await Christ's coming again. Let us continue now with the reading of the Easter Gospel in six different languages. El Messiah come. Hakan Khan means indeed he has. So let's do this again. Can everybody say Hakan Khan? Hakan Khan. El Messiah Khan. Hakan Khan. Bit better than that. El Messiah Khan. Hakan Khan. That's it. Excellent. Thank you very much. The first Bible reading is in Arabic. It's from Matthew 28, 1 to 10. Uh, it's in Arabic, so I can barely read it myself. Let alone understand it. I'm just joking. Uh, but there are two words to kind of keep in mind. That in this passage, Jesus is is mentioned in Arabic as Yeshua. So when you hear Yeshua, we're talking about Jesus. And the other important word in this passage is <coughs> peace. Peace, which is salam in Arabic. So as I read this, uh, you'll hear hopefully Yeshua at least twice and peace once, okay? وفي اليوم الأول من الأسبوع بعد انتهاء السبت السبت ذهبت مريم المجدلية ومريم الأخرى تتفقدان القبر فإذا الزلزال عنيف قد حدث لأن ملاك من عند من عند الرب نزل من السماء وجاء فتحرج الحجر وجلس عليه وكان منظر الملاك كالبرق وثوبه أبيض كالثلج ولما رآه جنود الذين كانوا يحرسون القبر أصابهم الذعر وصاروا كأنهم موتى فطمأن فطمأن الملاك المرأتين قائلا لا تخافا فأنا أعلم أنكما تبحثان عن يسوع عن يسوع الذي صلب إنه ليس هنا فقد قام كما قال تعالى وانظرا المكان الذي كان موضوعا فيه وإذهبا بسرعة وأخيرة وأخبرا تلاميذ 
أنه قد قام من بين الأموات وها هو يسبقكم إلى الجديد هناك ترونه ها أنا قد أخبرتكم فانطلقت المرأتان من القبر مسرعتان وقد استولى عليهما خوف شديد وفرح عظيم ورقلتا إلى التلاميذ تحملن البشرة وفيما هما منطلقتان لتبشرا التلاميذ إذ يسوع يسوع جيزوس نفسه قد اتقاهما وقال سلام or peace he told them peace فتقدما ومسكتا بقدميه وسجدته له فقال لهما يسوع لا تخافا اذهبا قولا لإخوتي أن يذهبوا إلى الجليل وهناك يرون Maybe. <laughs> After the Sabbath, at dawn on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to look at the tomb. There was a violent earthquake, for an angel of the Lord came down from heaven and, going to the tomb, rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothes were white as snow. The guards were so afraid of him that they shook and became like dead men. The angel said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know that you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here. He is risen, just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples, he, is, he has risen from the dead and is going ahead of you into Galilee. There you will see him. Now I have told you. So the women hurried away from the tomb, afraid yet filled with joy, and ran to tell the disciples. Suddenly Jesus met them. Greetings. He said, they came to him, clasped his feet, and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. Ostern, which means Happy Easter. Als aber der Sabbat vorüber war und der erste Tag der Woche anbrach, kamen Maria von Magdala und die andere Maria, um nach dem Grab zu sehen. Und siehe, es geschah ein großes Erdbeben, denn der Engel des Herrn kam vom Himmel herab, trat hinzu und wälzte den Steinweg und setzte sich darauf. Seine Gestalt war wie der Blitz und sein Gewand weiß wie der Schnee. Die Wachen aber erschraken aus Furcht für ihn und wurden, als wären sie tot. Aber der Engel sprach zu den Frauen, Fürchtet euch nicht, ich weiß, dass ihr Jesus den Größten sucht. Er ist nicht hier, er ist auferstanden, wie er gesagt hat. Kommt her und sieht der Städte, wo er gelegen hat. Und geht eilend hin und sagt ihnen, Jüngern, dass er auferstanden ist von den Toten. Und siehe, er wird vor euch hingehen nach Galiläa. Dort werdet ihr ihn sehen. Siehe, ich habe es euch gesagt. Und sie gingen eilends weg vom Grab mit Furcht und großer Freude und liefen, um es seinen Jüngern zu verkündigen. Und siehe, 
Da begegnete ihnen Jesus und sprach, Seid gegrüßt! Und sie traten zu ihm und umfassten seine Füße und fielen vor ihm nieder. Da sprach Jesus zu ihnen, Fürchtet euch nicht, geht hin und verkündet es meinen Brüdern, dass sie nach Galiläa gehen, dort werden sie mich sehen. Um, I'm reading uh, the same story out of a Bible that my grandmother got at her wedding, and it is in Old Dutch, but that doesn't make a difference to you, I think. <laughs> it's from the late 19th century. And laat na de Sabbat, as het begon te lichten tegen de eerste dag der week, van Maria Magdalena en de andere Maria om het graf te bezien. En zie, daar geschiedde een grote aardbeving, want een engel des heren, nederdalende uit den hemel, kwam toe en wentelde de steen af van de deur en zat op dezelfde. En zijn gedaante was gelijk een bliksem en zijn kleding wit gelijk sneeuw. En uit vrees van hem zijn de wachters zeer verschrikt geworden en werden als doden. Maar de engel antwoordende zeide tot de vrouwen, vreest gij die er niet, want ik weet dat gij zoekt Jezus die gekruisigd is. Hij is hier niet, want hij is opgestaan, gelijk hij heeft gezegd. Komt herwaarts, ziet de plaats waar de Heer gelegen heeft. En gaat, he gaat haastelijk heen hè, en zegt zijn discipelen dat hij opgestaan is van de doden. En zie, hij gaat u voor naar Galilea. Daar zult ge hem zien. Zie, ik heb het u lieden gezegd. En haastelijk uitgaande van het graf, met vreze en grote blijdschap, liepen zij heen om het zelf zijn discipelen te boodschappen. En als zij heen gingen om zijn discipelen te boodschappen, zie, Jezus is haar ontmoet, zeggende, wees gegroet. En zij tot hem gekomende, grepen zijn voeten en aanbaden hem. Toen zei de Jezus tot haar, vrees niet, gaat heen, boodschapt mijn broederen dat zij heen gaan naar Galilea en al daar zullen ze mij zien. Uh, I just want to tell you a, a little note about France. The word Pascal is the adjective for Easter. So any children born around Easter, they usually call them Pascal for the boy and Pascal with an E for girl. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and this is about the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Après le sabbat, à l'aube du premier jour de la semaine, Marie de Magdala et l'autre Marie allèrent voir le sépulcre. Et voici, il eut un grand tremblement de terre, car un ange de, du Seigneur descendit du ciel, vint rouler la pierre et s'assit dessus. Son aspect était comme l'éclair et son vêtement blanc comme la neige. Les gardes tremblèrent de peur et devinrent comme morts. Mais l'ange prit la parole et dit aux femmes, « Pour vous, ne craignez pas, car je sais que vous cherchez Jésus et qui a été crucifié. Il n'est point ici, il est ressuscité comme il avait dit. Venez, voyez le lieu où il était couché et allez promptement dire à ses disciples qu'il est ressuscité des morts. Et voici, il vous précède en Galilée. C'est là que vous le verrez, voici je vous le dis. » Elles s'éloignèrent promptement du sépulcre avec crainte et avec une grande joie et elles coururent porter la nouvelle aux disciples. Et voici, Jésus vint à leur rencontre et dit « Je vous salue ». Elles s'approchèrent pour saisir ses pieds et elles l'adorèrent. Alors Jésus leur dit « Ne craignez pas, allez dire à mes frères de se rendre en Galilée, c'est là qu'ils me verront ».
Felices Pascua. Felices Pascua. La resurrección. <coughs> Después del sábado, al amanecer del primer día de la semana, María Magdalena y la otra María fueron a ver el sepulcro. Sucedió que hubo un terremoto violento, porque un ángel del Señor bajó del cielo y acercándose al sepulcro, quitó la piedra y se so y sentó sobre ella. Su aspecto era como un relámpago, y su ropa era blanca como la nieve. Los guardias tuvieron tanto miedo de él, que se pusieron a temblar y quedaron como muertos. El ángel dijo a las mujeres, No tengan miedo, sé que ustedes buscan a Jesús, el que fue crucificado. No está acá, pues has resucitado, tal como dijo. Vengan a ver el lugar donde lo pusieron. Luego, vayan pronto a decirles a sus discípulos, Él se ha levantado de entre los muertos y va delante de ustedes a Galilea. Allí lo verán, ahora ya lo saben. Así que las mujeres se alejaron a toda prisa del sepulcro, asustadas pero muy alegres, y corrieron a dar la noticia a los discípulos. En eso, Jesús les salió al encuentro y las saludó. Ellas se la acercaron, le abrazaron los pies y lo adoraron. No tengan miedo, les dijo Jesús. Vayan a decirles a mis hermanos que se dirijan a Galilea y allí me verán.
We trust in Jesus Christ, fully human and fully God. Jesus proclaimed the reign of God, preaching good news to the poor and release to the captives, teaching by word and deed and blessing the children, healing the sick and winding up the broken hearted, eating with outcasts, forgiving sinners, and calling all to repent and believe in the gospel. Unjustly condemned for blasphemy and sedition, Jesus was crucified, suffering the depths of human pain, and giving life for the sins of the world. God raised this Jesus from the dead, vindicating his sinless life, breaking the power of sin and evil, delivering us from death to life eternal. With believers in every time and place, we rejoice that nothing in life or in death can separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. time so I don't repeat myself. But wouldn't that mean leaving out what I think is most important because I've already said it? Or do I proclaim it again and again and again, even if in somewhat different words? In fact, that is exactly what I decided to do this morning. Because you see, even though my passion for Easter has increased in the last years, my understanding has not changed in any significant ways. So sisters and brothers in Christ, we are here today to celebrate the greatest miracle in human history, the miracle of the resurrection of Jesus Christ, the triumph of his perfect love over our sin and the foundation of our church. Now, every year we choose for this service the story of the resurrection according to Matthew. Today, I will tell you the reason I keep on choosing it over the other very beautiful resurrection accounts. It's because of the angels. 
You see, although there are angels in the other Gospels, it seems that the presence of angels has especially powerful meaning for Matthew. Throughout his Gospel, Matthew puts angels as important characters in the scene at the most decisive points of God's special presence in the world. There are angels in the manger. There are angels during the transfiguration. And there are angels at the entrance of the empty tomb in the moment of the resurrection. These angels are deployed as divine messengers to tell us and to help us understand that what is happening during those extraordinary moments is holy and is sacred. Because by the power of the divine, during those special moments, heaven and earth intersect. These extraordinary stories need extraordinary <coughs> actors. And the role of these special angelical characters is also to bring us comfort and to tell us not to be afraid. When we look closely at the angelical appearances in the scripture, we find that in Matthew's account of the birth story, it is an angel that tells Joseph to take Mary as his wife and not to be afraid. And then in the Gospel of Luke, the first words of the angel Gabriel when he appears to Mary to give her the news that she will bear a son are the words, do not be afraid, Mary. And later when Mary's son is born, the angel's first words to the shepherds in the field are, do not be afraid. And of course, in the first Easter morning, according to Matthew, when Mary Magdalene and the other Mary find the tomb of Jesus <coughs> empty, and the earth shakes under the awesomeness of what just happened, an angel uses the same words to reassure them, do not be afraid. And when the women run to tell the disciples what had happened, <coughs> Jesus himself appears before them. And after a brief salutation, his next words are the same as the angels. Do not be afraid. The accounts of Jesus' birth and those of his resurrection provide the same words and the same message of reassurance that seems to summarize and to conceal the entire message of the gospel. The narrative is the same from beginning to end. Do not be afraid. You see, fear is such a powerful and natural human emotion. When was the last time someone told you, do not be afraid, and you actually believed them? We are very good at giving comfort to our children, but who comforts us? Who has the power and the authority to tell us do not be afraid and to give us the comfort that we need? Our fears are so complex that words of reassurance are difficult to find. And as we get older, we cannot escape to the realization that to use the words of Ernest Hemingway, life breaks everyone at some time or another. Or at the very least, that life wears you down relentlessly. As adults, we live with an increasing sense that death is greedy and that eventually it will take away everyone we love. 
our fears are stirred by such enormous realities that it can seem as if words of comfort and reassurance are nowhere to be found. Because no one has the authority or the power to tell us do not be afraid. Because no one knows the future. Nevertheless, that is what the angels came to say in scripture and sometimes in our lives. When do not be afraid seems to be the voice of angels in our midst. Moments in which somehow miraculously we know that we have been visited by an angel and we know that all will be fine. <coughs> And other times we hear Jesus' words. Words that he said quite a number of times through the gospel. Fear not. Fear not. And we know that it was him. And we believe him. We believe him and we experience peace. Knowing that it is not an assurance that nothing can go wrong because often things do go wrong but rather the assurance that whatever happens to us, whatever the day may hold, <coughs> God has the power to strengthen us and to uphold us so that whatever we must face, we do not face it alone. That nothing that we encounter is stronger than God's love and that in the end, and sometimes even before the end, God gets the last word over our fears. God's love is triumphant over our fears of evil and of darkness because through the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ, through the victory of light over darkness, God not only conquered death, but he also conquered evil. This is why only our triumphant, loving God can offer us such assurance and such peace. Because only God, or one of God's messengers, can say to us, do not be afraid, and say it with authority. So the words, do not be afraid, take a strong root in the characters of our gospel today because they know that these words come from the only one who has the authority to give such assurance. There is only one who can offer us such words in the face of life's uncertainty, uncertainties and before the certainty of death and do so with authority. So may you leave today with the echoes of these words of assurance resonating deep in your souls, that you may hear the voice of this benediction as a promise fulfilled in your hearts. May you fear God so much that you fear nothing else at all. Friends, The resurrection story, however we understand it or whether or not we can explain it, should make a difference in our minds and in our hearts. It's supposed to. That's what resurrection does. Because the fact that Jesus is alive and triumphant over the powers of evil and darkness, and the fact that he has come back to life and is here with us today, on this Easter morning, has and will change our lives in ways that we cannot even begin to imagine. <coughs> Maybe that's why we need to hear and we need to be reminded of the same message every year. The challenge I leave all of us with today is to listen for the peace that Christ offers us when he dies for us.
when he fights for us and when he resurrects for us on this Easter Sunday. This message is urgent and real, and I believe we will never be able to hear it enough times. So I'll see you next year with the same good word. <laughs> and until then, we need to live into the gift that God so fearfully won for us. The gift that says that death is not the last word, but there is in fact resurrection. This is the gift that empowers us to live with fearlessness. Amen. Happy Easter. Felices Pascuas. Jesús ha resucitado. He is risen indeed. Amen. reality of Jesus' resurrection keep you fearless and sure that you will see the resurrected one again and again in this life. And may the power of God's endless love surround you and guide you this day and forever. Amen. 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 Amen.